Okay, this is the PS4 version of Melty Blood, updated to the latest version 1.10. Uh, as we mentioned previously from our older tests, the PS4 Pro version appeared to be slower than the PS4 Slim version and the PS4 version running on PS5. And so the hope was with this latest patch that whatever was causing that would be ameliorated. Uh, that does not appear to be the case. So as you can see here, purely looking at the numbers at the top, and we are running off the same um, command history as our trigger, uh, it appears as though this one is running a frame slower than the PS4 Slim version. Um, I'll look to test the PS4 version running on PS5 next. My expectation would be that that one will be a bit quicker than this and a bit slower than the PS4 Slim version native. The, so one of the things um, is often in the responses to the posts for information about input lag is people will ask why. Uh, there are times when I can answer the why questions. So sometimes with controllers you can make educated statements as to is it because there's a, a lower sampling rate or is it because you need to hold the button for four milliseconds before it will trigger an input or a whole frame before it will trigger an input. Um, is it something to do with the, the game's input um, settings or, or, or so forth? Um, but most of the time I have no idea. Um, and so certainly in this case I cannot explain why uh, a more powerful system that is otherwise running the exact same game should be uh, more have a higher input lag than the PS4 Slim. Um, hopefully this is something that's easily fixed, you would expect that uh, it's just a bug or similar that's an oversight by the developers um, and so I might actually try to I don't know um, tag them in one of these posts and see if they have an explanation for this because it has been a consistent finding uh, and hopefully in the short-term future they'll be able to find a solution to this.